It's an annual celebration of ruckus and revelry. Carnival season has kicked off in France, bringing an explosion of color to the gray months of winter. From the Latin Carnevale, meaning farewell meet, the ancient festival has evolved into a collective moment of excess ahead of the Christian period of Lent. From overseas in Guadeloupe to down south in Nice and even far up north, France is letting loose. Hello everyone and welcome to the Dunkirk Carnival. The northern city is often associated with World War II, but it's also the host of one of the biggest and liveliest carnival celebrations in France. Over the course of three months, dozens of events take place all around the area. Today, we're joining the party in Brukirk, just southwest of the city. In this small town, locals are raised with the carnival spirit. On baigne dedans depuis qu'on est gamin et c'est super bien le carnaval. On est tous heureux, on est tous ensemble et puis il n'y a rien de meilleur. Chacun choisit son déguisement et c'est unique et on le sort qu'à carnaval. Dunkirk's parades are famously rowdy with a tradition called the chahu. Moments of ruckus when the crowd pushes forward and the front line holds them back from the band. On se promène, on marche, on boit, on rigole, on... Costumes, known in the local lingo as kletch, are strictly mandatory. J'ai 71 ans, je fais ça depuis l'âge de 17 ans. Donc ça fait plus de 50 ans. Avant, je me déguisais en, en femme, comme beaucoup de Puis un jour, je suis tombé sur ce déguisement-là. Et depuis ce temps-là, tout le monde m'appelle bébé, aussi bien dans le civil qu'à carnaval. For many, long-handled umbrellas called Berganar are also a key prop. Un carnavaleux a toujours le même comme dessus. Et c'est comme ça qu'on se reconnaît, vous euh, voyez là. Euh, il, est, il est toulousain, lui. Et ben, on, on se connaît pas euh, en civil, quoi. On se reconnaît parce que on a le costume. On, a, on dit ah bah euh, salut mon oncle. Généralement c'est mon oncle. Bonjour ma tante. Euh. Ça fait depuis tout petit, depuis l'âge de 5 ans. J'ai commencé avec mon père et maintenant je transmets ma fille. Festivities culminate in front of Town Hall, where herring are thrown from the windows at the crowd. A nod to Dunkirk's history as a fishing port. <laughs> to learn more about France's carnival tradition, we meet with local historian Olivier Vermesh. Olivier Vermesh, you're a historian from Dunkirk. What are the origins of the Dunkirk Carnival? There's the origin of the European Carnival with the European Christian civilization. And then there's the carnival that comes from a feast called Foie, which originated from the feasts the fishermen had before heading out to sea in Iceland. The earliest record of street revelries in Dunkirk date back to the middle of the 18th century. But if we look at the Dunkirk Carnival with the fishermen's band as we know it today, it's more toward the end of the 19th century. And at the Dunkirk Carnival and other carnivals around the world, there's sort of a transgressive quality. Can you talk more about that and why it's important? Yes, because it comes from the origin of the carnival. Carnival is really a moment of transgression. It's a burlesque grotesque moment where social norms break down. So you'll find people from higher social classes mingling with those from lower social classes. We're all from Dunkirk. We're all carnival goers and there shouldn't be any difference. And is there anything that's sort of similar about all of the carnivals in France? Is there something about a French carnival? It's very specific. It looks like certain other carnivals where the entire population takes part. Like in Manche, in Belgium, for example. But if you go to the French Riviera to the famous Nice Carnival, the population participates. 
but in a different way. Over there, it's more about showing off, parading with floats. For us, though, it's simply about being there physically. It's really physical. It's totally different. Of course, we can't talk about Carnival in France without mentioning Nice and its famous float parade. The celebration on the French Riviera is the biggest in the country and just marked its 150th anniversary last year. Preparations for this year's parade are underway in this giant warehouse in the heart of the city. Just days away from Carnival kickoff, the workshop is buzzing. 26-year-old Marie is finalizing this piece, guided by her father, Pierre. The dragon will ride atop one of the floats in Nice's famous carnival parade. Next to Marie, her cousin Vincent is working on one of the base frames. I'm installing one of the projectors so we can light up the float. Once all the elements are in place, I'll regulate the light intensity and position them to show off all the decorations. The Povinias are an institution in Nice, a carnival family that goes back five generations. They spend three full months each year working on the parade. Jean-Pierre, the current elder, passed on his expertise to his two sons, their partners, and five grandchildren, including Vincent. It's a passion for me. I'd get done with school and come here. I started with my cousin. We decorate the models with paper on the floats. I just wanted one thing, to finish school and come work with my parents, with my family. Before Vincent, his uncle Pierre also caught the carnival bug. Today, he manages the company and supervises the many steps in the production process. Here we're putting together a styrofoam sculpture that's going to represent a huge car. And so here they're finishing up the assembly so they can be coated in resin and also reinforced with a metal structure inside. It's a process that's come a long way from its beginnings. When I was 15, I started helping my dad crafting little heads and things like that. It's changed since then. Before there was cardboard, paper mache, wooden frames. Now it's metal, so there's a lot of different trades that got involved, different techniques, and also ways of working. Painting, sewing, electricity, and even mechanics. Everyone has a specialty. Styrofoam has replaced the heavier materials and a machine carves the shapes. Only the final touches are done by hand. The sculptures are then coated in resin before being painted. That's where we find Marie and her sister, a perfect opportunity to discuss this year's carnival theme, king of pop culture. I like the theme, especially because it can be quite varied. It's very comprehensive. It speaks to everyone. It's intergenerational. I think the theme is great this year. There are little references we like, even if you don't know them. Like, for example, our grandfather. There are things on the float he's never even heard of. Showing off the floats in the storage warehouse, their grandfather proves he does know his classics. There's Jurassic Park. This float is all done. Then you have the Matrix. These floats are ready to go. You could take them out tomorrow. At 81 years old, Jean-Pierre is still living his passion. He works on the final assembly of the floats, awaiting the big day. It's a huge pleasure for us. When we take out the floats, we have goosebumps because people see them and everything. And it's lovely and it makes us happy because we've succeeded with our carnival. A pleasure shared each year by the hundreds of thousands of spectators who come to take part in France's biggest carnival. And it's not just Nice and Dunkirk that know how to party. Overseas in the French Caribbean, Carnival is a cultural institution. 
In Guadeloupe, dancing takes center stage, with competitions involving elaborate music, costumes, and choreography.